so the whole brexit thing i don't think i don't think it will affect me at all even though they can take my passport anytime do you know what i mean if i come for the uk government or the queen or whatever they can just knock my door and be like do you know what love and give the passport back go back to somalia um no problem no problem me okay in somalia <laughs> like i i i love i love my country and i don't mind being sent back to somalia but it's just i will not stop talking about issues that i always talked about and i hope that you don't fear to express your views and stand solidarity with people i know you all want to get a job and you don't want to be blacklisted but at the end of the day the world will not be a better place if we all just keep it hush hush because that's how how the universe is do you know what i mean in, in order for a change to happen you have to speak up you have to use your voice you have to be you have to stand solidarity with people who are using their voice as well so i know things are a lot more complicated because of like this whole brexit situation and people being sent back there's a lot of racism there's a lot of hostility in this country but please don't be discouraged to spread love don't be discouraged to be kind to one another and also just use your voice as well and if i'm sent back to somalia one day or if they do take my passport or whatever happens i feel like i know that i've always been in the right side of history I've, oh, <laughs> I've, i always stood solidarity with people who were struggling and i spoke up about issues that i was really really passionate about despite knowing that potentially i can't be employed do you know what i mean there are companies that will not hire you just because you spoke about some things and they don't want that drama or they don't want that i don't know they don't want anything to do with that and they're like um separate yourself from your job bullshit if you're calling out racism if you're calling out sexism if you're calling out um homophobic person then your company should be supporting you whoever you work with should be supporting you they should not be saying oh my god this is my business i really need to protect it but therefore people around me can be racist bullshit i feel like if the company is not um um supporting you then you're not with the right company and um just 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 leave them <laughs> look for another job okay look for another job um with that being said please don't be discouraged to speak up use your voice and literally like make the world a better place it's the best time to use your voice like we can't all go silent because potentially we can't be employed or brands don't want to work with us or you know we'll be blacklisted if someone is blacklisted if love and taco is still making videos then i am telling you right now no but and brands just right now some some big ass brand they were on my line do you know what i mean saying that like we'll prepare water for you so my point is yes there will be companies who don't want anything to do with you because you talk about important issues in the world like environment racism sexism all of these things yes some companies don't want anything to do with your with you but then what kind of world do you want to be in do you want to be in a world where you just played the perfect person perfect employee and because you cared about your job you didn't actually speak about you know racism and calling out racism does not make you problematic by the way it does not make you um someone who can not mentioning my job and stuff like that no calling out racism is a fundamentally the right thing to do so no matter who you work for you should be doing that um yeah so you use your voice because i've met a girl and she said to me oh my god like i really wanted to talk about the whole Piers morgan thing but you know i don't want that to affect my future blah 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 the company i work with will find me and i'm just like yo you're set up for some boring ass life you really don't want to talk about something that you're passionate about just because a potential employee will not employ you i'm so sorry i'm just not built like that don't hire me i'll i will be happy don't hire me if your company don't want to support movements and basic human human human, <laughs> human things i don't want them 